My name is Theresa McKinnon and I work at the Language Centre at the University of Warwick. I was a recent uh, Waite Award winner, that's the uh, Warwick Award for Teaching Excellence. Um, my professional background is in language teaching, language education, and I've spent the last 30 years teaching and uh, managing teaching um, across the sectors from primary, secondary and finally into higher education over the last 10 years. Uh, our context here in the Language Centre is that we deliver language learning opportunities for people who want to begin a new language or progress uh, from whatever stage they're currently in, in their language learning. Uh, we offer a wide range of languages and we deal with a, a variety of people. They could be undergrads, postgrads, um, taking language learning for credit. Uh, they're also members of the public. Um, parts of people from the business community uh, and we're responsible really for helping them find their way through uh, the problems and challenges that are presented in learning a language. I think the challenge for any teacher is to um, keep up with the, the changes both culturally, linguistically when you're dealing with a language that's constantly evolving and contextually that we face um, to make sure that we're not overtaken by the changes that are happening around us. Um, and that's quite a challenge. I think it's very important for us to plug into uh, a network of people who are involved in the same practice. So my personal learning network is actually quite wide. Um, I would involve um, discussions with the people both I work with in the same context as myself and also beyond uh, where I teach. So I use quite a lot of e-learning tools to connect with other educators and there's a very lively um, modern foreign language community, teaching community through Twitter uh, where I connect with a lot of very interesting people and share ideas. Also I think a very important part of, um, of your development as an educator is to connect with your students and make sure that you're in a lively dialogue with them and you're making sure that whatever it is they need they feel comfortable to be able to make explicit to you so that you can reflect and change your practice. I think if I had to focus just on one it would be to um, bear in mind that actually uh, as the leader of that learning community, as you are as a teacher, uh, the person responsible, it's up to you to create the right atmosphere for everybody to feel comfortable if they're going to achieve their potential. So if you're confident in what you do and you feel comfortable with what you do, you're sufficiently confident to pass the locus of control around the room, um, to do different things, to um, encourage people to either be explicit in front of their peers about their problems uh, or the issues that they have in engaging with content, or come and see you and discuss them in detail so that you can tailor the uh, work that you're doing to the needs specifically of the individuals within the group that you're responsible for. So I think it's very important to get the relationship right in the learning. Um, if you can focus on the relationship, um, everything else will follow. And not to be afraid to admit that you don't know everything 